your girl Ola with another video. So this is gonna be all about my weekend facial routine. So you know we're on makeup every day, having to be out in pollution, the trains, the buses and whatnot all day long every day. You have to keep your skin clean and fresh and you have to pull all of the toxins out. So what I do is I give myself an at-home facial every weekend. So my facial consists of five steps. First, I wash, I exfoliate, I steam, I mask, and then I moisturize. So to wash, I use this Pure Castle Soap. This is like a clarifier, it gets everything off. Like literally your face will look brighter once you finish washing it with this soap. So then I exfoliate, I'll use this brush, and I'll use that with this Tea Tree Oil Face Wash from Trader Joe's. Then I'll steam it. I have my steamed water sitting here waiting for me. Um, then I'll mask. I use this Xenix Professional Peel Off Mask. And then I moisturize using this Rose Caviar Essence by Pixie. So, let's get into it. So, first we we'll use my Pure Castle Soap in the scent Peppermint to wash any impurities from the day off of my face. And this soap is so great, it clarifies completely. I got some of that soap in my eyes, it's really, really strong, but it's really a great, great soap. So now I'll use this Boar Bristle Brush to exfoliate my face. So I'll say with this brush, you have to wet it first. Wet it and let it sit for a minute, that way the bristles soften up because it can be really, really harsh on your skin if you don't. And I just take small circular motions. So now I use my boiling water. So that water had been, I had boiled that water and had it sitting there that whole time. So it can cool off a bit. I'll saturate my washcloth with it and I just pat my face. You just do it as hot as you can possibly stand it and you'll feel it as you're doing it. It totally opens up all of your pores to allow all of the dirt and impurities to be washed away. And this step goes before the mask because it opens up your pores that way when the mask is put on, it can literally adhere to anything impure inside your pores and pull it out with no problem. And I do this twice because it just feels so, so nice once it's done. So now I'll take my mask and this foundation brush. I'm not really sure where I got this brush from. I've had it for years. I've just always used it for any mask that I use. So you can take any flat brush and that will do. And it especially works well for me because you know when you have nails, you don't want the mask getting stuck underneath your nails and it causes, causes it to be all gross. So you just put a nice, thin, even layer all over your whole entire face. And once I'm finished with this, then I will take my moisturizer for my lips, my Pure Lis or Pure Lissy, however you pronounce it, because your lips get really dry in this process. So to take the mask off, you stretch it out and you just peel. So I know a lot of you have seen those black masks on Instagram. I actually tried that mask and it's really, really hurtful to your skin. Like when I say it adhered so well, it felt like it was glue. It didn't peel off as nice and easy as this one. You know, with that mask, I mean, you felt like it really cleaned your skin, but it also felt like it could potentially rip your actual skin off if you weren't careful. So I would not recommend that one, but this mask right here, this gold mask is really wonderful for that. 
It pulls all the impurities out without any pain at all. So now I'll take my Caviar by Pixie and I'll just rub that in my face. I'm not sure if you can see how nice and clear my skin looks after this facial is complete. And that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.